Hello, everybody. How are you? I hope that you are fine and safe in COVID-19. Okay. This semester will start by this course, Database System, COMP 344. First, we'll start by introduction. Before introduction, okay, we'll talk about some syllabus. We'll talk about syllabus of the, this course. This course, it, of course, in computer engineer, it's a major course. Uh, Prerequisite by this course is COMP232 data structures. This is my emails. Office hour from Monday to Friday, 24 hours via WhatsApp. This is my number. This course will be three credits, two lecture per week, 50 minutes, plus a three lab session per week. We'll took this textbook as a reference. It's the latest book in database called Database System Concepts for Mac Grow Hill 2020. So it's the latest book for this database, okay? So first, first week, we'll talk about introduction to the database and relational model, chapter one and chapter two this week. Next week, we'll talk about introduction to SQL, then intermediate to SQL, then advanced SQL, then database design using AR model. So this one week, two, three, four, five, the first five weeks is very, 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 very important to you. Okay? This is a base of our courses for here. So first six chapters, very important. Then normalization, then some complex data type and application development. No, but I think uh, one week vacation. Nice. Uh, one week vacation when? Nothing. Okay. Then week eight, we have midterm. Okay. After midterms, we'll talk about physical storage system, data storage structures, indexing, query processing, or optimization, and the last week or two weeks, transactions, failures, and recovery system. Okay. So, and in the lab, we'll talk, of course, assignments, quizzes and the project, okay? So midterm, 30 point, lab, 30 point, final exam, 40 point, okay? Give us 100. As usual, bonus five points or to 10 points for active students, okay? So this is fast syllabus we'll take. In this week's after midterms, I will change something here to give you some information about big data and the blockchains, okay? Introduction to big data, how implemented in database, big database, okay? After midterm, I will change the letter here, okay? But in the first, it's very obligatory, it's very important, are very important here, okay? So, I will upload your book, this book, to your uh, OneDrive today. I will give you this book, okay? Okay, now go to slides. What is database? The definition of a database, DB, is a collection of data which is stored in a logical, structured, and ordinary manner. Generally, stored and accessed electronically from a computer system. But many databases can also be held on paper, such as phone book, yellow pages. There is a book, okay? Law firm, accounting firm, Maktab al-Muhammad, al-Adaya, 
بكتب ده على ورقه في سيجنتشر ذير ار سيجنتشر سو ات ماست بي هارد كوبي نوت اونلي سوفت كوبي سو داتا بيز اولسو كان بي دان باي هارد كوبي هارد بيبر اوكي فور سبيشال كومبانيز او بيبرز ناو دي بي ام اس The database management system DBMS is the software that interacts with end user applications and the database itself to capture and analyze the data. So we'll work together with DBMS and database. So we'll work about we'll work database plus some softwares to manip manipulate our data. Example, MySQL, it's a free database. PostgreSQL, also it's open access, a free database. Microsoft Access, it's not free. Microsoft SQL Server, it's not free. And also FileMaker, Oracle, RDMS, DB, and others. And others. Okay? In the lab, In the lab, we'll, we'll implement Microsoft Access and SQL Server, okay? In our lab. Since there are many, many database management system available, it's very important to communicate with each other. How we communicate between different database softwares by something called Software comes with an open database connectivity called ODBC. Okay, a driver that allows the database to integrate with other databases. We'll use it. We'll use it when we merge between Microsoft Access as software and SQL Server as a database. So in the lab, we'll use the platform. Microsoft Access without its database, only as forms, as application, as VB code, visual basic applic uh, application code, VBA code, and connect to the Microsoft SQL Server. So we must use ODBC. We'll see it later, okay? So every database must have this ODBC driver. We'll talk about it later. Example, for big companies or companies enterprises information, example for database applications like invoices, sales, nabiat, customers, zabayin, items, products, purchases, invoices from suppliers, fee transactions inside the company, invoices for customers, a purchase invoice from supplier, okay. Accounting department has payments, receipt, assets, RAS mail, okay. Also in human resources department, they have information about each employee, its salary, payroll tax, and other and other. So this all data, this all data can be done in one program application plus database. So this is the priority example, the first and the biggest example. And 99% from all application database is for enterprise companies. Also for manufacturing, for manufacturing, masana. So management of production, inventory, the stock tabon, the inventory, the orders, the talbina, the orders from Customers, okay, supply chain, keep it in all men stock, warehouse, lower house, okay. For home, we stamil network flows, is a tzakaro, but course, network flows. Of course, banking and finance, it's a big example for database application. Customers' information, account loan, accounts, loan, and banking transaction. Hatta al fide, with dune. بدهم يعرفوا كل زبون قد ايه صار دافع، انت عم تدفع شهريا، اتدينت مبلغ معين عم تدفع شهريا، سو 
must have application database. Credit card also transaction. Also in finance, sales and purchase of financial instruments like stocks, the bursa, and bonds storing real-time market data and blockchain. Of course, like now in the universities must be big database because every student has its course and the registration part. Also in airlines tickets, reservation, and schedule of airlines, tickets, and so on. So it's example for big database. Of course, in the mobile or telecommunication, records of calls, tax, and data usage, generally monthly bill, generating monthly bills, al-fawatir, bil-shahar, maintaining balance, or prepaid calling card, and so on. So for mobile like Alpha and NPC in Lebanon, they have a big ARP software. Of course, web-based services like online retailer, order tracking, customized record recommendation, online advertisement, and of course, e-commerce like Alibaba, AliExpress, and Amazon, and eBay, and so on. So they have big database. Of course, now Google uh, and the Google Map navigation system or Google Map for maintaining the location of various place of interest along with exact route, road, train system, buses, and so on. Okay? So we have a lot, lot of examples about database application. The purpose of database system, why we use database system, why? Can we handle by paper or no? In the early days, Database applications were built directly on top of the file system, which lead for, to some disadvantage, which are they have data redundancy and inconsistency. So same data is stored in multiple file format, resulting in duplication of information in different files. So if you use Excel sheet, if you use Excel sheet for university example, example for university courses and the grades, whatever. So you must add, you must add the student name in each sheet. In each sheet, you must add the student name or ID and the student name for each sheet, sheet for courses, sheet for registration, sheet for grades. So the, the name of the student is repeated in this example, small example, three times. So to avoid, to avoid duplication of data or data redundancy, we must use universal database management system. So to avoid the data redundancy. Also, if we want to search for any student or any customers or any supplier, it's difficult to access data. So I must go searching every sheet in example in SQL, in Excel, example, example in Excel, if you use Excel alone. So it's not a big database. It's a, for the small applications, yes, we can use Excel. For small application, yes, we can use. But for big application, for big company, for like universities, bank, we cannot use Excel because we have difficult in accessing data, also replicate, duplication of data. We have accuracy problems or integrity problems. Dea is a correct or not correct. Like example, account balance must be positive, not negative, and so on. Hard to add a new constraint or rules inside example, the same example Excel sheet. We don't have, it's not a database system Excel. Can be used as a database, yes. Excel can be used as a database for small application, not for big. Automaticity of updates, failure. Huh? This is very important. Failure may leave database in an inconsistent state with partial updates carried out. Of course, if we want to update our database and the connection 
between client and server is disconnected. So we have here error in the data inside the tables. Example, Excel or access alone, or if you use Microsoft Access has this disadvantage. Microsoft Access has this, this uh, disadvantage. So when the data is updated, okay, if the network is disconnected, the data is lost. So this is a big disadvantage. It's a big, a big problem, especially for banks. Tsawaro, example, if a customer pay a check or insert a check in, the, in its account, example, and the network is disconnected, so the last operation in, in its account, example check, example, will not be recorded in the database. So, data inconsistent. Okay? Example, a transfer of funds from one account to another should either complete or not happen at all. Okay? So here must be used in the network field TCP protocol, not UDP protocol. TCP protocol in the network region, in the network course, in the network side, TCP, the data must be sent and received, and there are handshaking for, for testing if the data is received well or not. Whereas in UDP protocol, like Microsoft Access, they send the data, they don't care if the other side received or not. Okay, like YouTube. YouTube, the video streaming, the video streaming, okay, in the YouTube, the video streaming is UDP, not TCP. But they don't care if one frame or one packet or one bit or one small data, zero or one, not received. They don't care. It's very fast. UDP protocol for network is faster than TCP. But in the data consistency, like here, automaticity of updates and for secure our data must be done using OZ model in the network layers as TCP protocol, not UDP protocol, like Microsoft SQL Server, like MySQL free, okay? But the disadvantage of Microsoft Access is in the Wi-Fi is UDP, they use UDP. Faster than SQL Server, but it's not consistent. Okay, we'll see that in the lab. If we want to concurrent access by multiple users at the same time, okay, needs we want to access the database in different location at the same time, as the same data for the same table, for the same field or attribute, the same uh, data, okay? So can our database, can or uh, our platform or application can hold concurrent parallel access by multiple user or no? So this is very important. And access can support only 10 user at the same time. If more than 10 user can enter the database access, the data will be error. We have error, okay? Whereas in Microsoft SQL Server, no. Can support more than 100 user at the same time. Example here, two people want to reading a balance, say 100. Okay, and updating it by withdrawing money, say 50 each at the same time. At the same time, two person access the same data and changing how this application will be manipulated. So in, inside a Microsoft SQL, they have solution. All of, of course, the security problem. We have security problem here hard to provide user access to some data if using Excel, okay? So database system offer solution to all the above problems, okay? So we'll stop here now and we'll continue next slide, uh, next session, okay? Any question? Any question? I will no, stop no, no, no. 